So we're inside the RV and I'm gonna take you on a little tour in this main space. This is the kitchen. And it's the, we have a little island here which has this covering on the sink. We have like a nice farmhouse sink um, with a, what do you call this? Um, I don't know, what do you call it? Radius, it has like a turning radius faucet. And then we have our RV fridge here and the freezer. And then we have the stove. This comes up, you don't cook on this. Um, our guy who was giving us the tour told us that he has to tell people that because apparently somebody cooked with this glass on. And it is gas. And then our oven, and storage down here. So we'll be able to put some pots, pans. Um, and this is the microwave. Pretty standard. We have some more storage. Storage is really important here in the RV, so that's nice. On the island, we have some drawers. Of course, we'll put our utensils and serving spoons. Um, these are pretty deep drawers, so I'll be able to fit a lot of containers when, we're, when we have leftovers. Um, and then this is nice because it has an indoor trash. Um, I've always been a fan of this. Hollow, not so much, but I like it. And then we have our, um, we have this counter space, which I don't know what I would really put on here. What, it, what, what would you guys put on here? If you guys have a space like this, because it does this. system which has like a DVD and it's Bluetooth and we can we have like surround sound there's speakers uh, here in the RV and then we have this very very beautiful fireplace um, and it should be able to heat up the whole this whole main area one of our favorite uh, features is the pantry or storage area that has this far door um, and then I just realized this, it has this pole up here and we can hang stuff. So I guess it could be kind of your preference, a pantry or a closet. And then here we have our seating area and these recline. I'm not a fan of this one. Um, I only because it only seats two people. So I'd rather have something that can seat more of us. And then this is our dining space. Probably only four of us could sit here. Papa could probably come here in the middle. Um, and then we can have three of them over there. So we might all actually be able to sit here, but this is where we'll be eating. We could put like a chair right there. Or we could put a chair here. Or High chair or something. Yeah. Belong here. Yeah. Um, this is probably what we'll end up using for our pantry, which has a lot of good storage here. Um, I want to be careful with these though because you don't want to put too heavy of things in there. Um, this is the furnace. This is where the heat will come out when we need to turn the heat on for uh, the winter. Am I forgetting anything? Um, and then this is the bunkhouse. This is where the kids are going to be staying. And of course they're really excited because it's a bunk. And so we have um, this side here and it has our storage and then um, TV hookup and shelving for their video games. We'll probably put the PS4 and um, some other consoles in here. Um, of course, this is the ladder so that our little Atlas can get up here and come sleep with his siblings. And then, of course, more storage. Um, and then this is the other bunk over here. 
with Maya. She's our lighter one, so she'll stay up here. And then one of the boys will be down here. This goes up. And then this comes out to a bed. It's pretty self-explanatory. You pull those off and then it's a fold out bed. And then of course just pull that down. From the windows. This I like, is, I like the, I like the tin. Yeah, I like these windows. Um, this is a, an emergency exit, so that's why it comes out all the way like that. I wanted to open that to show you guys. Um, I'm not gonna try to close it right now. But then we have these really nice um, privacy dark shades. Um, I prefer those over those blinds that the kids can like mess up really easily. But yeah, that's the back. Now we're gonna go to the bathroom. Oh, I didn't mention, look at these um, accent lights. I thought that this was really, really nice touch for the RV, it really makes it feel really homey. And then look at the skylight. More natural lighting to bring in here. And then of course we can shut that off if we don't. Especially if we're trying to watch a movie and we wanna close out all the light. Um, and then we're back to the entrance, which is the bathroom, is right here. Off to the entrance. Um, you have your sink and then your medicine cabinet. That light's not going on. Why? We'll have to figure that out. Oh, it's a duel. Like what he said. That's right. Good job. Um, and then we have storage down here. It's pretty limited because of the piping that's exposed. So this is neat if you like look all the way down here it has the toilet paper holder and then we could put some storage down here and then the shower or we'll be showering for a long time and then the toilet is it, i do uh, like matt's is it rvs is position? it uh does it get the four keys i'm only five two so porcelain toilet it's safe. It's prime, prime pooping position. It, it's a go. Um, these are the controls for the um, slides and the awning. Um, yeah, all those controls. Um, this is, and lastly, this is the master bedroom where we have this same exact storage on each side and then more up here, which is um, really deep deep storage for us to put our clothes and extra stuff in the, these drawers. Um, and then, um, yeah, this is a queen size bed. It's not a king, but it'll do. And then, um, oh yeah, we have these little pockets over here where we can put like our phones and our waters or our books, whatever it is. People will talk about CPAP machines love that it has the USB ports and then of course the outlets um and for those of you who have pets or um just want to use this for extra storage they have this really neat um storage down here or this space if you ever have uh, pets you want to bring along And then, of course, you can hook up a TV here. Um, there is a mounting bracket for you to put a TV up. And that's pretty much so One it. of the main reasons why we picked this RV, um, this is obviously, this is the Keystone Outback model um, travel trailer, because we didn't want a fifth wheel, because I need the back of my truck. Um, but the exterior on this thing, and obviously the features you see inside, is, is, is probably was a selling point for us and, and the bunkhouse for the kids are key. But <clears throat> the exterior. So everybody back home, this is lava line. Lava line right here. And for those you know, this is pretty much like a bed liner. So this, 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 this model has a cap in the front. So this is for driving, right? Uh, it's just safety. It's got some nice LED lights, you know, when you wanna do your hookups. And stuff like that and we also have two big um, propane, uh, propane tanks the propane is for these trailer homes they're for using for cooking right your oven your stovetop and then your heat all come off of your propane and then your water heater as well 
Um, and then we have the BLLS 7.3 balance system. This is also why we got this trailer. That is key. That right there, I'm telling you right now. You press the button and everything levels for you. You don't have to do no manual stuff. So if you're looking for a travel trailer, get this. And then obviously you have your battery hookup. Around. So a lot of times from what we was doing research, a lot of awnings that go over a slide, because you know this, this, this travel trailer has three slides. Three slides. Okay, it has three slides. So usually the awnings, uh, when they come over a slide, you don't really get that much um, sun protection, shade. But this is a pretty. Yeah, I'm like six three, so I can do that. So this is a pretty long awning, and it covers up. All right. One of the biggest reasons why we got this is also because we like the whole um, indoor outdoor living and this travel trailer came with a nice kitchen. We have our deep drawers, uh, we have our sink and this is a big deal. So a lot of outdoor kitchens, they don't drain. This one does, so that's good. Then we have our drawers here. We have the beer fridge. Cause you know the three things I preach is Ohana, country, and beer. A lot of beers going in there. And then we even have your two tone stove tone burner. So like I said, like this this RV, uh, you know, I, I can do. I, I'm not gonna do a whole walk around and, and show you like everything in time. We we, we will. Um, but for the most part, like for the outside, that was the features that uh, really from doing our research that, that I liked was the exterior, the outbacks is deemed in, keen, in uh, Keystones, the, the King travel trailer for their exterior package. Like these are tough, they're made tough, they handle elements. Um, and then you have your upgraded features inside that that you've seen um, with Lori um, so it and then you have the bunkhouse so it really fit like all the needs for our family family of six and so yeah that's it Everybody.